Hey, this is Chug, and in this video, we're going to be looking at key bindings. We're going to be looking at my key bindings, why they're set up that way, and whether you should consider changing yours. So, it's important to point out that your key bindings are the way that you interact with the game. If you want to take an action, you need to use your key bindings to achieve it. Now, some actions are quite easy, but some actions are quite complicated. So, we'll take this for example. Okay, watch closely. <laughs> Alright, what did I just do? I hit the jump key, I switched to rocket launcher, I hit my ability key, I crouched, I got my movement keys forward and left, and then I hit uh, the jump key again to send myself flying off in that direction. Now, can you do that with the default binds? I'm not sure that you can, but if you could, it would require enormous... Uh, strain and effort on part of your hand to make that happen. But <clears throat> with my key bindings, that's actually quite easy. Very consistent. It's not because I'm well practiced on it or anything. It's it's just easy. What are the elements of my key bindings that make this easy? And it's uh, the crux is that each of these actions, my movement, my crouching, my uh, activating my activation of ability and my switching to the rocket launcher are all independent. I can do the same. I can do this again, but oh well, obviously, I need the rocket launcher to not be out. But I could do this again and activate my uh, pull out the rocket when I'm at this point, or at this point, or at this point. I have full control of when I pull the rockets out. It's not going to affect the other stuff that's going on. Okay, how does this look in my binds? So my movement keys are WASD. It's, it's a default standard. Um, other people use different um, different keys here. Why do they do that? There's one drawback, and that is that the move forward and move back key is uh, controlled by one finger. Now this has an impact when it comes to mid-range dodging. You want to be able to switch between these two rapidly, as rapidly as you can here. But I can't do that. Like it's it's significantly slower, okay. And it's not that you want to you know be able to do this because obviously this doesn't do anything, but to have the freedom and versatility of being able to switch between these quickly is the asset that these players are trying to maximize, okay. However, I prefer to use this because I'm using three fingers to control four actions, so it's efficient, and that's going to be the. Uh, the thing that I'm going to be going for with all of my uh, all of my operations. So let's look at my ability key. So it's on left shift. So not having it on G or F means that I can activate this with my pinky while my other three fingers control the movement. So I could be moving around like this, whatever um, pattern that I need, and activate my ability at any moment, completely independently. Very good. Okay, what else does my pinky do? It controls the walk key. So now ask yourself, when are you ever going to be walking and activating your ability in in tandem, in combination with each other? It's not really going to happen. These are pretty, as, as far as keys go, these are pretty separate um, actions. Oh, as far as actions go, they're pretty separate. They're used in different situations for different reasons and are not really related. The only um, one that I can think of is if you're a ranger and you're being a, uh, a bit of a dog and uh, you're going for some dirty orb play from a sneaking position, you know, something like that. But other than that, the two actions are separated and controlled by one finger and it's quite handy and efficient, I should say. They're efficient. <coughs> what else do we have? We have the jump key on spacebar and crouch on left alt. Now this is a slash specific thing because I need, not that I need, um, I wanted um, a key, a combination of keys that enabled me to slide, or sorry, to crouch and jump while only using one finger, one digit of my hand, which is my left thumb. Now this is not a choice that I made lightly, I was, I had, I had trouble, I wanted to slide and do stuff and I was finding it difficult. So I decided that I'm going to find the best key or key combination that will work and I'm going to force myself and train myself to use it. So using left alt initially, of course, it felt 
very awkward. My thumb got sore. Um, it wasn't used to, it was not very accurate at hitting the key. It's not an action that it, it had done before. But um, with time and practice, about a week, two weeks, it felt relatively natural. And by this stage, um, it's quite easy. So that efficiency of devoting one digit of my hand to crouching and jumping, meaning sliding in general, sliding, controlled by my thumb, activating ability, controlled by my pinky, and my movement keys, controlled by the three in between, means that I can slide around and activate my ability completely independently and freely. Okay? Super, super effective. Very efficient. Very happy that I made this choice. Okay. What else do I have? I, I, I mentioned, well, didn't just mention, I performed. Over here, I switched to the rocket launcher. Now I can do that while my left hand is busy doing this. Why? Because the rocket is on my right hand. Okay, let's look here. So the rocket launcher is on mouse wheel down. And we'll notice that the lightning gun and the rail gun are also on my right hand, on the mouse. So this means that I could be sliding around, switching to any gun that I want. This is fantastic. This level of versatility, being able to switch to rail and hit a flick shot as I slide jump and blah blah blah, with ability around the corner, anything. This is all within the realm of possibility and easy because all of these actions uh, I can perform independently of each other. This is why I think my config is good, especially as a Slash player. Having all of these things just so easy to perform. Relative, you know, compared to someone who has ability on G, or who has crouch on left uh, control. This is just my, um... <laughs> this is what I came to, and it works for me. And I should say, uh, I'm not sure if I said it yet, but um, a good config is not one that is, you know, that a pro player uses, it's one that helps you do what you want to do. Okay? I look at Toxic's config and I recoil in f uh, surprise, not fear or disgust, but surprise. And I'm very jaded and curious about whether he actually is an android or it's just a joke, it, you know. <laughs> if, you ever, if you ever look at his config, uh, I hope that you have a similar reaction to me, otherwise then you're a bit strange as well. But he's got Alien Bions, so strange. How could you possibly make it work? But when you watch him play, he's clean. The bindings, they're either, they either don't inhibit him, or they somehow help him to do what he wants to do. And by the virtue of that fact, they are good binds. Okay? You can try and test out other people's binds and try to get them to feel comfortable, but if you break them down in this way of what is efficient, and what binds need to be used in conjunction with each other and which ones don't need to be used in conjunction with each other construct your own set of keybinds that um, will help you um, do what you want to do okay so I have problems in my in my config right now uh, my shotgun is on C that means I can't move to the right and pull out the shotgun at the same time okay it's not it's not uh, practical same with the nail gun I can't move right and pull out the nail gun However, what are the situations that I'm actually pulling out the nail gun? You gotta ask yourself, like, wh when would I actually pull the nail gun out? Firstly, if I have no other gun, that's, like, if I'm expecting a mid-range fight and I have no LG, no rockets, sure, I'll pull out the nail gun. But I can do that before a fight happens, while I look for a gun. I'm not gonna be pulling back, dropping here, and then, ah, nail gun is the correct weapon if I've got LG. Or maybe rocket, you know? There's not going to be a situation I need to move to the right here to pick up this health bubble and switch and pull out the uh, the nail gun at the same time. Okay, it's not really a problem that I have to deal with. But even if I did, I can pull it out and then move. I can just deal with it being slower. I can just live with the inconvenience. Because it's only minor. It, it doesn't have a massive impact. By nature of what the keys are doing, like what the keys are for, and the situation, how frequent the situation will occur, and how impactful is it in that moment. But when it comes to slash and movement, crouching and jumping is very important all of the time. Activating ability, 
is important for every fight. Like I may need it, I may not need it, but I need to be I need to have the capacity to pull it out if I need it. The main guns, if I'm sliding around the map, I want to be able to pull out the railgun and, you know, do what I need to do. I need to be able to pull out the LG. And I need to be able to hit, you know, ridiculous flick rockets across the map, whatever. You know? Having this versatility is, is what my key mining's enable for me. Now, you can try copy mine. You can just take what I've said in terms of efficiency and figuring out what's hard in, like, as you play. Like, what do you find difficult? Um, is it the fault of the binds? Could they be changed to help you? Um, the keys to look at are your abilities and your weapon keys. Everything like and your crouch key if you're a slash player. Everything else you can probably deal with as a you know just through sheer uh, stubbornness. But okay, I think uh, I think that's all I really have to say on this. Um, so thank you for watching, and I uh, hope it was helpful. And see you later.